Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video tutorial. And on this video, I'm going to show you guys how to add the default legacy viewport. Now, let's say if you recently installed Maya 2018 and you uh, added in one of your models that you're working on. Let's do that right now. Pop that bad boy in there. There you go. Now, normally, whenever I render out the textures on this model, I've used default legacy viewport. Now, if I go over to render, on Maya 2018, the only option we have is viewport 2.0. Now, if I wanted to go into texture mode, I would just press 6 on my keyboard. But if you notice, textures aren't rendering. And of course, I'm not going to do this in wireframe. I want to see my textures. All right, so on today's video, I'm going to show you a fix for that. Now, first things first, I want you to close out Maya. And in the video description, there's going to be a line of text. I want you to copy, copy that text. I want you to open up your file explorer, meaning a folder that's going to help you navigate around your windows. Now, I want you to go into documents. Click on that. Now, once you're in your documents folder, there's going to be a folder called Maya. Double click on that. Once you're in there, of course, this fix is for Maya 2018. So you're going to have a 2018 folder. Double click on that. Once you do, you're going to be presented with these files. It's going to say preference, presets, scripts, user tools clip. And you're also going to see a file that says Maya. That's going to have a Maya logo. And it's also going to be under type. It's going to say Maya environment file. Now, double click on this file. It should open up in either Notepad, WordPad, Sublime. If it doesn't open up like this, just right click the file and go to open with. Once you do that, you're going to pick one of your uh, text programs to open it up. So let's say if you don't have WordPad, click on more apps and click notepad and press OK. And as you can see, it opened up. Now what I want you to do is I want you to paste in that text that you copied from the video's description. So I'm going to do that right now. Right click, go to paste. And as you can see, it added this text that says Maya underscore enable underscore legacy underscore viewport equals one. So once you already have that in there, go to file, go to save, close that bad boy up. Now we're going to open up Maya once again. Just give that a quick second so all the plugins can load up. There we go. That's my baby. All right, just give it another second or two. There we have it. All right, now if I head on over to render, you'll notice that I have all the features that I've had in the previous Maya versions. So now, not only do I have viewport 2.0, but I have the feature that I want to use, which is legacy default viewport. And it's also legacy high quality viewport. So I'm going to click on the second option, legacy default viewport. I'm going to add in the model to the scene again. Zoom back a little bit. Now remember, I have it on legacy default viewport. Now if I press 6 on the keyboard so I can go into my texture mode, now my textures pop up. So there you have it, guys. If you didn't have those options, now you do. So if you like the video, hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.